All right. So I've done pad pocket rib uh, holes. Um, rib is something that can follow a spline. Okay. And drafts here are shell commands. I think I'll try and demo that. I think just for fun, I'll do a shell. Actually, let's make this look a little cooler. I'm going to go to sketch plane and grab the YZ here. No. I'm going to pick the YZ plane or XZ plane and grab sketch. And I'm going to do elongated hole. And exit out. And let's do a pocket command. And I'm going to say up to, to last minus point 0.1. So it doesn't go all the way through. Oh, shoot, I was on the bottom when I did that. So if I rotate this around, see that slot here? It didn't go all the way through. And just for kicks, I'm going to do the shell command. And the thickness of this part is default to 0394. Let's go point. One two five an eighth of an inch. I don't. I don't think I give myself much room. But let's go ahead and grab this face, and I'll hit OK, and you'll see oh, it's too short, too small. Um, maybe if I go half inch, and. Let's open the part body so we can see what we're doing. This pocket will be minus quarter inch. Okay, let's see if I can get this to work. Let's delete the shell. Oh. Sorry about that. I should have done this pocket and then made sure I didn't uh, use something thicker than that thickness I went to. Now that I've got an eighth of an inch and remove this face, select OK. Oh, shoot, still don't like it. Let me try it on my other demo here. Just to make this not look so weird, I'm going to delete that. And let's go to, I don't know if it's going to like this hole or not. So let's try and go to shell, grab this face, and 0.25, no, 0.125 for eighth inch thickness, select OK. All right, I made this funky part here. Oh, that's because I didn't go all the way through. No, I did go all the way through. So, yep. Got this weird tube going in there, but I removed this particular face so that it's kind of hollow. So this is kind of be like a plastic part or something, something hollow here. Uh, oh, I'm having a hard time. My computer is just really going slow here. Anyways, that's what the uh, shell command does. It hollows that out. Okay. Let's double click the shell command. Click on this face to not remove it and say OK. Then what happens is you just got a hollow part. So if I had a 3D printer, I could make this part because there would be material on the inside. I could hollow that out. Okay. Whatever thickness I have. 
<clears throat> um, let's double click the shell command. Let's pick this face to hollow that out. It's like, okay. All right, and then that's kind of like a side view here to see what's going on inside. All right, so that was my demo on what the shell command can do. I'll finish this with uh, another one that's fun, which is the rib command.